Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Seeing if anybody's going to join us. Hey, Bobby. Let's see how long I can go. Hi, Batty Girl Rachel. Let's see how long I can go without the furnace going off. What do you think about that? Thanks, Bobby. Hey, Lori. I wonder if Vicky's going to see that I came on. She was just asking me if I was going to scope, and I was like, maybe. Not sure. Okay. So, I have just been doing a little bit of play here, and... Um, I wanted to just share with you different easy ways to make a simple card and then another kind of what they call kicking it up a notch. Um, so let's get busy. Let me first catch you up on what I've done so far. And so far I have this Christmas quilt. It's a brand new um, stamp set from Stampin' Up! in the new holiday catalog. And it will be available, I want to say, till like January 1. And super cute. Definitely Christmas themed. But quilts are all year long. Hey, Vicky, Quilts are all year long. So what I did is I took these two. And I didn't take this stamp. I took the die that's compatible with that. And there is just a wonderful die collection that goes with it called Quilt Builder Framelit Dies 144673. If you can see that, 144673. And what I did is I took the triangle and I took the um, embossing part that makes it look like it's been quilted and I taped them together. Okay, so we're gonna put that off to off to the side for a minute. So let me, thanks Vicki, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So what I've done is I went through the whole thing with So Saffron. And So Saffron is a beautiful yellow color. It's a little subdued. Let me flip these around so you can see it. It's a little subdued, but that's okay. I then paired it with Wisteria Wonder mm -hmm. in the solid. Can you see that? And pretty much all I did is I stamped it and I stamped it. I stamped it, I stamped it, I stamped it, I stamped it. Then I turned it around and I matched it up and I did all the yellow. Then I came back with this companion and now take a good look at this. So when this is laid over on top, you get a complete match. Okay, so there's that one. And it fills in all the holes. But I opted to do it in the opposite triangle. So everywhere there was a blank, I did it. And then I flipped it around. And then I put it up here. And I did. No, it was not hard to line up. Um, so the first, having done the yellow, um, I started out as close to the center as my eye could manage, and then I went sideways, and then I came down and worked in that, um, you know, because then I was just able to, to line it up. So let me show you. If I had not done the purple, see I have this on here now. Do you see how, because you can look right through this acrylic block, I can see where all the triangles line up so I can literally just line it right up. So it was super easy. So that's a no brainer. So I don't know if you can see, let's see if we can see that. See how the yellow has some design in it and the purple not so much. Now my, with my Wisteria Wonder is a little over inked so I need to really um, work that down. Oh, yeah, oddly enough. Isn't that interesting? Thanks. But, you know, that's a simple card. Now, let me show you the set that I used the, um, the sentiment from is from Colorful Seasons. And this is 143, 
726. So that's that one. And this one is 144793. Okay. So those are the two sets. Beautiful sentiment, beautiful font, and this is such a good four season. This is one of my must-have sets in the in the catalog, in the annual catalog. I love it. And the die set is awesome as well. So I paired those together. I went ahead and I used the stitched framelits, which is another must-have, and it comes with four circles, four ovals and four squares. See, I'll show you the whole collection. So you get nesting sizes. So I used the third largest um, of the circles, and this is called Stitch Shapes Framelits, and it's 145372. Okay, so that's that. Another just good basic staple. So I did all that. I mounted it on the Wisteria Wonder, which, you know, it's nice. It's a fine card. You could make probably 10 or 20 of these. This would be a beautiful thank you card, baby card, announcement. You could make a bunch of birthdays. My goodness, in green and red, this would be the Christmas card of the year. Super easy. You could just crank out a whole bunch. How many dies of each shape of the um, stitched framelits? It comes with four each. So it comes with four of the ovals, which are over here. It comes with four of the squares. It comes with four of the circles. My ovals are just a little out of whack. There. Yeah, isn't that great value? In one set, you get all three, and they're stitched, which is fabulous. Such a good investment. So that's how I got this card. And it's basic. It's fine, right? Now, this is how we're going to kick it up, and we're going to do this together. Okay, if you noticed, I also have my Daffodil Delight. And do you see the color variation? Do you see how Daffodil Delight is just slightly brighter? Yes, a very versatile set. I love this set. So yeah, this is a little kind of butter, and this is a little bit more sunshine. So what I did, and I've done this ahead of time, is I took a scrap piece of paper. And as you can see, I made an accident, and I, I accidentally opened the So Saffron. So I didn't want to use that. You see the difference? It's very, very subtle. But the Daffodil Delight is just slightly brighter. So I went ahead and I stamped randomly, you know, all over this. And then I ran it through the Big Shot. I taped these two pieces together and I got this piece. And then I got a second one. And then I did a third one. And then I started auditioning. For any of you that know me, you know that I audition. That's what I do. I lay things down. I try and figure out how it's going to work, do I like it in that pattern, and so forth. And I did. So what I did is I took my two and a quarter inch, um, yes, a two, two and a quarter inch circle punch. Again, another awesome staple because of the size. And I literally, now granted I have dimensionals on this now, but I tucked this down, I, I ran it down, I poked the little triangle out of the top of it, um, and I flipped it upside down like you can see right here. Um, and as you can see, I have one of my dimensionals off. I just went ahead and I punched it and that cut that edge off. Okay, so now let me go ahead and take off the rest of these dimensionals. Because I want to pop it all up, right? So there's that one, and it nests just so beautifully in with that stitched circle. And it matches really well, too. Like, I would definitely say if you're looking to get this Quilt Builder um, bundle, which is 10% discount right now in the holiday catalog because it's a new set, I would definitely go ahead and not only get that, but definitely scoop up the stitched um, shapes as well. Thanks for inviting followers. 
So these are the new mini dimensionals. Love them. I think I love them more than the regular dimensionals, and I already loved those. So I'm just, of course, sticking with the three. So now we've got a little bit of dimension. You see this one's coming off the edge, but it's kind of still within the framed border. You've got this one, and now they're in the Daffodil Delight, so there's a little bit of a pop of color in that one, this one, and this one. Now what do you think? You've got the stitching. It's bringing together the stitching from the sentiment. Now, I was thinking there's also these iridescent sequin assortment. And this is number 144212. And they are so pretty. So if I can open them without ex exploding them. Look at all of them! Look at how many you get! They're so pretty. And all the yellows. Aren't they awesome? And there's some, like, kind of, they're white, but they almost look purple. Yes, they are pretty. All right, isn't that gorgeous? They're so sparkly. So, you know, you need a little glitter, right? So let me go ahead and find my Tombow. Oh, Vicky. I wish you could buy them from me. Now I need to think about where I want to lay down the sequins. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to audition again. Because that's what I like to do. So then I'll, I'll take a step back and I'll try and see. Now there's like these peachy ones on here. I'm going to need to use my fine tip glue pen for this because these sequins are really tiny. <laughs> you would if you were in the U.S. No, you're a demo, you silly. Okay, now what do you think about that? Should I have it kind of go all around the card or is it enough to go on the sentiment? Is it too much? What do you guys think? I think it just kicks it up a notch. It's those subtle little things. The card looked fine before, but now it looks better. I need a jewel picker. Um, I've got my pokey tool, so that's going to work just fine for me. Um, I think I did just order one, though, honestly. And let me find my liquid glue if I can. I think I put it somewhere. Now the question is, where did I put it? You know, it's always something. You're always tucking things. Yeah. Well, you know what? This is okay. I'm just going to go ahead. I love my craft mat right here. So I'm just going to put some. Put some glue. And I can unclog it. Come on. I was being frugal and I combined a couple together. And there's something in there that's clogging it. My gosh, that exploded. But I didn't get any of my cards, so that's good. Okay, so there it is. A little bit of dot. So now, I'm going to pick some up. I'm scoping, hon. How about I come up in a minute? Okay. I like when my sequins are kind of sitting like a dish, kind of, as opposed to um, a walnut. You know, 
like an old fashioned walnut here. I'm missing comments. I'm trying to concentrate. There. Did I get them all? Yes, I think I did. I'm just going to take this. I'm just going to take a piece of paper and get rid of that. So there it is. There is a super simple, easy card kicked up a notch with Stampin' Up! and Happy House Creates. Hey, Marissa. You know, you could even um, take it a step further and add a ribbon. You could add a ribbon across underneath that sentiment. A little bit of planning, a little bit of color selection. And I don't know how many of you all um, use a color wheel, but a color wheel is such a great tool. So to be able to use the yellows and then right across the color wheel are the purples. So if you can see yellow right here, you've got the triad, triad but you also have, let me see if I, if I do it this way. And if I spin it, complimentary, you've got the yellow with the purple and then you have the triad right here, and then you'd also have these pinks, which we're pulling in with those sequins. So that's how it all works together. All right, so go grab yourself a color wheel, do a little bit of color wheel um, studying on Google, or pick yourself one up at Amazon, or go ahead and make your own, because with Stampin' Up, I'll show you, with like an inch or an inch and three quarters, you can pretty much punch out all the colors of this cardstock and really make your own color wheel too. So that's another great idea. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you're interested in any of the products that you've seen, um, just go ahead and check out happyhousecreates.stampinup.net. You can find me at Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Per and Periscope, of course, but also um, Pinterest. Just type in Happy House Creates with a hashtag in the front. I agree. The color wheel is a great tip. Yes, absolutely. Thank you all for joining me. Have a wonderful weekend. Happy Friday. TGI Friday. Create from within and go get crafty today. Bye, everybody. And YouTube. Thank you, Vicki. Bye-bye.